back to my channel. I am Naturally Carlissa. After this blowout, my curls bounce back like a trampoline, so there's that. If you like this video after watching, like and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at naturally underscore Carlissa. Um, I have a lot more content on there. And check out my videos that I got on YouTube. Just, just check them out. I am going to be trying out something I found on Instagram called the Quill Brush. Um, and it says how to use it. You apply the coil brush to your index or middle finger. Use on small sections of wet or damp hair to detangle finger coil on smooth strands while twisting or braiding. Use with product on stretch hair to remove smooth strands on finger curl ends. To clean, rinse with warm water and pat dry with a towel. They came with two of these. This is what they look like. And since this is my twisting finger, I'm going to put this on my index finger. And there's that. So that's how it's going to be. I'm going to take some of this leave-in. All right, let's start. So we're gonna start with the braid, with the tweed out. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link that below. It's just awkward. It feels like it's awkward with this thing on my hand. I guess it just feels weird with this thing on my finger. Like, I feel restricted. But I guess the real, the real test is going to be to see how my twist out comes out tomorrow. So I'm guessing it's smoothing my strands, but it just feels really weird. Like with this on my finger, like it feels, my finger's not used to having anything on it. So I don't know. I feel like I don't want to get any product on it. I don't want to comb this with, with this. I want to detangle with my brush, but I guess I can do it like this. I guess it, it'll be really good for people that like to finger finger detangle. So this is how much hair I'd lost with those three twists. I'm gonna put some leave-in on both of these sections. I'm gonna take this off. I can't get it off. It's suctioned in my finger. Okay. Let me put this suction cup back on my finger. It's starting to, to slip off my finger. I was also told with these, if they don't fit your finger, then you can cut them to adjust to your finger, I guess. And then I did ask in a comment, what if you have some slippery product on your hand? What do you do? And my the response that I was told was you can put some paper in here. So, yeah, you know. Part of me feels like I shouldn't have to manipulate a product for it to work, which is the reason why I didn't get a Demon brush because I just felt like I shouldn't have to take out rows of, br of like the brush in order for it to work with my hair. Like it should just work. So this is starting to slip off my finger. So this brush is definitely something that you have to get used to, but the more that I'm using it, the more easier it is for me to use this. I would suggest you use this brush underneath the first curvy part of your finger. The first bendy part, whatever that's called. I don't know. But if you do that, then your finger doesn't feel as restricted. I'm working with this coil brush a little bit easier when I pushed it down underneath the the bendy part of my feet. <laughs> I'm all done. Um, or I've completely lost feeling in this finger. <laughs> it's just something about the fact that it's it's blocking this part that my finger is numb. This is how much hair I lost 
while using the coil brush, which is not a lot, and it's probably the same I would lose if I were if I was just using my finger. Um Yeah. So the fact that I can't move my finger made my finger really numb with this on. It's not a bad product. It's really not. Um, will I use it all the time? I don't know. I like the concept of it. I like the fact that it smooths my strands instead of me using my fingernail um, to smooth my strands as I go. This is a great alternative. I do like that I, I can detangle my hair while um, when I separate like to find my twist and like put the product on and I can smooth it on and detangle it with this. I do like that. What I don't like is that my finger feels really restricted, <laughs> constricted. I can't, it feels immobilized. I can't move my finger. So also I put this on my finger when it was dry, when my finger was dry with no product and it was fine. And I took it off my finger because, you know, I was going to add leave-in conditioner and stuff and I didn't want to keep it on. But when I had product on my hand and tried to slip this back on, it did get a little slippery. Um, it got slippery and it started turning and twisting on my finger. Again, they say the alternative if you have something that's really slippery is to put paper in here. But I don't see how putting paper in here mixed with product it's going to work. I feel like it'll be a big mess. So if you have something that's way, way, way slippery when you put in, probably like Uncle Funky's daughter, um, that curl stimulator, I can see this and that not mixing, not working out. This will probably slip right off your finger every time you try to do something with it. So I guess I will wait till tomorrow. We'll see if the cool brush hype is worth it. All right, so I've already taken my twist down. Um, I fluffed my hair. I did not separate it. I'm going to leave my hair like this with the definition from the twist in there because I, I like it. I don't need big hair all the time. My final thoughts on this. I don't see a huge difference. I felt a huge difference as far as when like I was doing it. And you know it helped detangle as I twist, but I don't I don't think I see a big difference like to where I'm like man I'm gonna have to use this all the time. That's just that's just how I feel. I, I'm on the fence about I'm on the fence about the cool brush. I mean it's it's a very good concept like I said, but I don't see it doing a big huge difference to my hair. It's really good I guess for detangling and finger coil and all that good stuff. So. I, I did definitely think it's a great concept. I would like it more if it had more flexibility for your finger. A little, a little bit more bendability. And then maybe we can talk. Because I shouldn't lose the feeling in my finger every time I use it. For some good hair. It's not worth it. But that's all I got, people. And I guess I'll see y'all on the next video.